You got a little smudge on your lens or is that a crack? Yeah, right there. Good. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Nowak. I've been the Chargers team photographer. It's my 25th year, 524 games in a row. And welcome to my office. We all meet in the parking structure at 7 a.m., bringing the gear inside. And this is the team photo workroom where we'll have the photo and then we'll have social media and then the video team. Seven in the morning is, you think it's early, because game's at one, but we have a lot to go through. Basically, it gives us a little time to set up and if there's any problems, we can fix them. We can get into situations where one of my clamps isn't working, one of my transmitters isn't working, the batteries are dead, can't find a ladder. Photography is basically just problem solving and you know, trying to eliminate as many problems as possible. Basically different lenses achieve different looks even, uh, different lighting situations. These are some of the long lenses I use. It's a 400 and a 600. Basically grabbing something across the field and then shoot something wide, whether it's a celebration shot or a catch right in the corner of the end zone. This would be a good lens for it. And then anything 20 yards in, I have a 7200, which is uh, very versatile. And then probably my favorite lens right now is the 135-18. It should just be welded to my camera because I like it that much. With the 400, with a little bit of practice, I could shoot Justin throwing the ball and looking at his eyes and body language, I can kind of tell if it's going far corner, inside of the end zone, the middle. So as soon as he releases, I can swing this lens around and then grab another body with a wide angle lens and be ready to go by the time the ball gets to the receiver, if everything goes right. Right now, everything's packed into my remote bag. We will go down to where the players take the field and we will uh, set up some remotes. Who wants to help? We're not mounting it on the bolt. No, I'm gonna try something different. I'm thinking, put the one back there again, mm -hmm. but then put one right here, okay. going that way. So, see what happens. I've mounted a camera up underneath the arch on one of these little mounting posts, and I've fired it out on the field. It's kind of cool when the players run out underneath it, get the whole stadium open up. And then another angle is I mount it back here, facing out this way, which is a great angle. And so this season, they just started using the smoke wall, trying to get as many looks out of it as possible, because when the players come through it, the smoke wraps around their feet, and it almost looks 3D. So we're gonna put a couple remotes up on it and try and uh, take advantage of it. These will be up all day, so I just put fresh batteries in, learn my lesson. I know the sun will be coming in kind of this way, so I'll put in the shutter speed. The game's not for a while, so we just want to make sure that the camera's going to record and be at the right exposure five hours from now. I think I'll do these 30th of a second, get a little bit of a blur. Um, and I'll do that one frozen. So what I'll do now to test it, Let's turn this on. There you go. One down, one more to go. So the first year we had COVID and with the restriction, I was the only photographer on the field for the season. I took, I think it was first place for one of my photos that we're hanging up right now. I got the whole team coming out onto basically an empty field, empty stands right before pregame. They looked like a river because of the long exposure. It was kind of neat, but everything else was clear. As a photographer, you're kind of focused on trying to make something unique that no one else can get. And that just takes a little bit of trial and error sometimes. There we go. What I do is I mount this. It's old, but it still works. When I fire my camera, this goes in the hot shoe, it will fire. As you can hear, you can see the red lights go off. Both of them. Yep, yep. There you go. We're ready. This is my utility belt. Basically, I store extra batteries, lenses, a water, my flash, 
anything I need during the game that I do not need to leave the field and go get. So this is our wireless setup, it's the Ethernet logo, and then we have our wireless. So basically the camera is now connecting to, to this little guy. So if I take a picture, if I like that picture, I hit set, which is what I programmed to transmit. So now it says transferring, the light's blinking. And when it's done blinking, it means it's sent. So Emma's our editor, so the photo goes right to her computer and she can pull the photo I just shot up on her computer. There you go. Yeah, let's do Justin first. Do you want locker or do you want seat? We'll just do locker, it's easy. Every game for social media, we do what they call uniform shots. So basically I'll grab two or three players. This week it'll be Justin basically just to show the fans what they're wearing. So powder blue top, white pants. There's no lighting in the locker. So I just bring these along. This one's blue. Drop it in somewhere, add a little blue light. Um, this one is just daylight balance. So just kind of throw it behind there. A little blue light just adds a little pop to it. The light I put in the background is kind of spruces it up a little bit. So this will be sent right to social, so I'll just transmit it. Light's blinking, and it's sent. That photo is off, and then it'll be edited up and out onto Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Gotta make sure to grab these lights because I have left them in players' helmets before, so. Just doing a couple empty shots of the locker room. I think fans like to see what it looks like. I mean, we're in here every day, we take it for granted, but people who don't see this very often, it's something special, and it is. Usually everybody starts going to their posts. Katie will go up top and shoot tailgate parties. Emma will start editing. Players will start arriving about 9.30. They should be done coming here around 11. After that, I go outside, shoot some pregame. Players will leave the field, player introductions, and then off and run into the game. Basically after we finish play arrivals, the team will be outside stretching. I will try and just capture a few shots of certain guys stretching real quick. Transmit those out for social media. This is set up to our dedicated web link. So we have a lot of bandwidth so we can send photos throughout the game really quick. Take another one, another one. There you go. And I'll just let the editors pick out the best ones. Just getting down low. I'm shooting really shallow depth the field. So head down. Some of these I know will look better in black and white. You know, facial expressions. I like to shoot long so I get the snapper's hands on the ball. Then I can shoot through his legs and actually get JK spotting the ball. So look good. Returners will come out first. They usually huddle up right at the end of the tunnel. QBs will huddle up back over here. And they're pretty quick taking the field, so I'll probably shoot a huddle with the long lens and then hug the wall and try and just get facial stuff coming down the hallway. Who's mic'd up? Right here. You? Yes, sir. Mic'd up? Yes, sir. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Look right there, shooting up. Sticks together, baby. Hey, let's hang out, fly around, have fun, and lean on your brother when he gets tough, and let's do this. Sticks together on two. One, two. Sticks together. It looks like I'm taking a picture of the ground, but I can see through the viewfinder what's on the back of the screen really quick, and I just transmit. So if everything's working good, I can still focus on the game. I know there's a little bit of a gap between the last group and then defense, so that gives me time to send stuff when I'm out there. If I miss that window, then I'm trying to send stuff all the way through player stretch, and it's too much. Hey fellas, you've been blessed with another opportunity to go hit a motherfucker in the mouth. You dominate up front of us. Hey, let's go, baby. Dominate on three, one, two, three. Dominate three. Let's go, man. We ain't waiting on the ass up. Don't wait. Don't wait, motherfucker. From the first place to the last place, let's go. Clap this up. Oh, give it to me. 
Go get him, bud. I haven't done this shot in a while. We'll see what happens. Bofem, are you ready for your trenches to hit that field? And now it's time to welcome to the field your 2023 Los Angeles Chargers! And that quarterback, number 10, Justin Herbert! Toss. I'll try and get low so I have my screen out so I can get a really larger than life. And in years past, when the screen wouldn't flip out, you just kind of like shooting by feel. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. This kind of like evens the odds out, so I'm pretty confident I'll get a lot of good pictures. All right, it's game time. What a fun and fascinating matchup it should be today in Los Angeles as the Detroit Lions come to Southern California to take on the Chargers. Usually it's me and Ty on the road. So I'll take one corner, he'll take the other. Um, today we have a couple more photographers. So Ty is on the bench area and he'll hang in the high end zone. I'll cover the corner and basically the half of the end zone. And then we have another photographer on the other side. So we have all our bases covered. I'm always like kind of bringing up my other lenses and looking through them to make sure the settings are all the same. Cause sometimes when you're running, shutter speed or aperture gets changed by hitting your pants or whatever. So this way, I'm sure the camera is gonna work. So if I'm on it with the long lens and I bring it up real quick to get a catch, the camera's already set. <laughs> so that's Dennis Proy. I've known him for like 25 years. Second eight. First down by Keenan Allen out to 38. Right now I'm just transmitting Keenan's first down catch and run, and our editor will have it within a couple seconds. Going for it right away. Oh, it's tipped away at the last moment. So you can see right here, I get from way back here, I got the ball hitting his hand, blocking the pass. So a lot of times with uh, sports photography, it's not the main play that is always the key highlight of the play and sometimes it's the reactions celebrations are great so you always keep an eye out after the play the Lions 30. going for the big one to the end zone what a throw touchdown chargers So like I said, that was the touchdown, but then that's the whole sequence of Keenan spiking the ball, which is way better than the touchdown catch. Most of the job, you know, it's hurry up and wait, but then it's also go, go, go. During a game and like pregame, you know what's gonna happen. It's kind of like you can set your clock to it, but during the game, anything can happen. And it usually does. The years I've been shooting, it kind of, experience different things, different ways to win, celebrations afterwards, get some of the you know excitement, the relief, it's just the, the whole team aspect going into the locker room of, of, of guys being there for each other. It's nice to be able to be in that situation where you can capture things that you know most people will never see and then you can share that with them. Uh, it's great. 